Hi, I'm Melissa from My Heart Fourth Grade. Now that your students have worked on their very first Boom Deck, you're ready to start analyzing student data. With your Boom membership, you have access to student reports. So today's video is all about showing you how to access those reports offered. So the first way I'm going to show you is how to access a report straight from your Boom library. The second reporting feature I'm going to show you is if you wanted to do an item analysis. You wanted to see what your students know and what they don't know as a whole. And the last reporting feature I'm going to show you is how to look at a specific student within your classroom. Whether you have one deck assigned to a student or if you have multiple decks, you can see everything in one page and you can reset the data if necessary. So let's start looking at the reports offered with your Boom membership. Now that the students are working on their Boom cards, it's time to analyze their performance. This can be done while the students are working on their cards or after the students have completed the cards and you want to start to reflect on your instruction. So once you're logged into your Boom account, you're gonna to wanna to click up at the blue margin where it says reports. Here you'll have all of your classrooms listed on the left. For this video, we're gonna take a look at my second block. If you have your cards organized in folders, all of your folders will appear here, but if not, all the decks that you own inside your library will show up on the right. So for this video, we're gonna take a look at place value with decimals, which is one of the first skills that we teach in fourth and fifth grade. So when I click on that, all of the students in my second block will appear and their scores. So I can quickly scroll down and see how the students did. If you notice, I've got two students that didn't pass this deck. So I know that I need to pull those students and work with them immediately because there's something that they are missing. Maybe they don't understand the thousandths place or maybe I need to go back and review fourth grade place value. We can pick on a student's data by selecting the circle and you can see that this student had an accuracy of 65%. When we click directly on the red bar, we can see what the student guessed and what the correct answer was. So this is, spe this is specifically helpful when you pull up a student and you wanna review things with them and ask them questions. You know, right here, she probably just quickly guessed. Um, she picked the answer pretty quickly because right here we have the average time per card. So you can see how much time is spent on each one. Here, once again, she picked the hundredths place when the correct answer was the thousandths place. If you have more than one deck assigned to your class, you can pick those up at the top and you can see how your students are doing on a variety of skills. This is especially helpful as you get closer to testing season and you want to use your time wisely. As you scroll down, we can see how the students did. Alyssa is passing all three decks, so I know that we don't need to spend time with place value or rounding decimals, but I do have some students that need some help. For instance, Austin needs help with reading and writing decimals to the thousandths place, but he understands these two other skills because he's passing with an A. One other thing I want to show you from this screen is if I wanted to clear off Austin's data, I would click on this one because he's not completed this set of boom cards. That's why we have a one. And I don't like how he's doing. Maybe we work together in, in a group and I wanna give him a fresh start. So I'm gonna cl click delete entry and all of that data will be wiped away. And now he has a fresh start. Another way that we can look at data is by going into our library. We might want to do this if we had assigned Boom cards to multiple classes or maybe two classes and we want to see how they're doing. So taking a look at that same set of Boom cards, I'm going to click the blue action symbol and scroll down to where it says view report. Here we can see reports by students and reports by cards. This is especially helpful when you want to do an item analysis and you want to start to review the things that the students are missing. So taking a look at this card, 35 students got it correct, but 24 missed it. So I know that the students overall are having trouble, 
with this decimal place. They don't understand that the four is in the ones and has a value of four ones. And you can see that they guessed um, it's either letter C or D. Here, the students, 40, got this correct and 22 missed it. Sometimes these numbers aren't exactly correct as far as overall students because the cards in the deck are randomized and not all of the students have gotten to a specific question. So that's why these numbers over here might be a little off. So once again, if you wanted to do an item analysis, you would look at the reports next to the boom deck by clicking on the blue action and view report. The last way I want to show you how to access reports is if you need to look at a specific student. Maybe they are an intervention or you are doing some progress monitoring. Maybe you have a parent conference and you want to be able to show the parent how the student is doing in class. So you're going to click the classes icon, click the plus button, and then find the student that you want to take a look at. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Portland. We're going to click on the plus symbol next to her name and click on the report icon. Here's everything that is assigned to Portland currently. The green circle with the check mark means that she has completed the deck in its entirety. And here's her score. On this deck, she received a 23 out of 24. Place value mixed review, she received a 21 out of 24. We can even go on to click and look at how she did on each specific set. So here she's only missed three. We could click on the red bar to see how she did, what she guessed. And if we wanted her to redo this, we could click delete entry. So in this video, we looked at student reporting. We went into our reports feature and we saw how we can look at multiple decks at a time for a specific class. We looked at reports from our library by clicking on the blue action and scrolling down to reports. And we looked at how we can analyze reports for a specific student by clicking on their class, the plus symbol next to their name, and clicking on report. If you have any questions about how to access your reports, how to use reports, or just some general ideas on how to use data to drive instruction in your classroom, please feel free to reach out to me on email, Facebook, or Instagram.